Now. Carmelo turns it over, and he has been having some turnover issues, and Smith will take it in over the Chicago Bulls. Not too short of his career high 27 that came against the Chicago Bulls at the United Center in 2008. Here comes Billups in the name, and they go inside. Kamen, who uh, in about a week perhaps you get some good news from the NBA office in New York. His first solid attempt at making the all-star team in the West, Nene over Smith. With ease. And Baron Davis is there to grab the loose ball. Both teams are over 50% shooting. Four at the other end. Another block shot for the Nuggets. He's a great player. I mean, he, I know you judge it the fact that, uh, you know, LeBron and, and those guys have, uh, have done a lot of things, but uh, what Carmelo has done to this franchise has been tremendous. They go inside his quarters at home. Uh, you, you gauge the first quarter so much. They have not had a lot of Denver, a lot of first quarter success here at the Pepsi Center as Chauncey hits a long two. Anderson picks up the loose ball, third rebound, another turnover. No field goals, last three minutes either way. Here comes Smith right around Anderson and slides in for the two. His game has looked good. 18 points off the bench against New Jersey a couple nights ago. Last four games, Doug has been averaging 14 points a game. As Craig Smith, here's the swerving Lawson. Wide open Anthony for three. Three outside, that won't go. Butler can't find it. That, I don't like that shot when you're shorthanded. I know Butler is a really good shooter, but that's what it leads to right off there. The bench is ability to handle the ball. He can score, he can rebound. Imagine put him and Kamen and uh, Camby out there together. That's quite a front line. The name inside creeps in for a the couple. Denver success. George Carl would like to get 30 assists, but uh, they're 11 and 1 when they get 25 or more assists when they're moving the ball. Normally they shoot a very high percentage. Here's Lawson sort of weaving behind that pick. Defending I Marty Collins right there. By the way, those are the first two for Lawson at the other end. Collins got two just before. Flalo back in the game and goes right by Marcus Camby. With the left hand, couldn't make it go. The rebound by Anderson, number four. Funny how easy the game gets when you have space and move the ball. Huh? Here's Lene the outside. The ball sticking. Davis is one of three. Camby is 0 of two. Here is Rasul Butler off the bench, 0 of three. And, and they got to the conference finals against the Lakers. So, I mean, at worst, they want that number two seed uh, going into the playoffs this year because how well it goes to the seedings in and uh, in your trek to try to get to the NBA Finals. Great pass by Kamen inside. In fact, George Carl said when he was watching tape, he felt like the Camby's passing was a big part of Kamen's success in that low post. Well, it comes in for Lawson, and Carmelo comes in for Aaron Aflalo. Here's the name. Five of six, good start. And a great feed with a terrific four rebounds with an effective possession right there. Well, the big thing is for he and Camby to stay away from their third foul. Going into the halftime, it'd be a big thing for Mike Dunleavy, for both of those guys, underman tonight, to have four fouls to use in the second half. So here's Carmelo Anthony, three and seven. Coming into tonight in the NBA. Seven in this quarter. Collins, and this is over. The He's put in six. All in the second quarter. in there and went in and dunked the ball. <laughs> Can't be staying away from that third foul. He's giving up a couple layups that he wouldn't normally give up that easily. Came in again. Five of nine. Across the lane with the left hand. I, I love his ball. Three missed the parts of two. That's where Doug said they missed the, basically ten games and missed about three weeks. And so, you know, for a guy his age, it's... It comes at a pretty good time. Here's a three over Ricky Davis. Uh oh, third quarter. Oh, yeah, that, uh, that ball hit nothing. <laughs> and a follow the other way, a curveball. I mean, curveball. <laughs> Screwball, slider, it had movement. <laughs> Here is Carmelo Anthony. He puts that over this team. And then in the fourth quarter, you can execute your offense, put the ball in his hands, and execute your offense, make sure you get a good shot. Well, we just saw the free throw story right there. Baron Davis with the much needed three. Oh. Nope, two. It was now two of six with his six points. The free throw story is significant. 15 of 20 the Nuggets, and you saw four of four for the Clippers as Anthony feeds oh. Martin from Martin finds Nene. Come. So fits in this team very nicely. Here's the right handed hook shot it. by Kamen. Does not get it to go, but you can see very confident in his post moves. Here at that home gym and worked on his shot. Mid-range jump shot. He lives in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Frank Stinger inside. Carmelo Anthony. Anthony. 
complain to miss Ricky Davis with a flying shot coming off the screen. Anthony's got 19. A foul for Billups. He's shot the top of that okay, are One and ten. So it's a tough struggle for them because they don't score. They, their defense is better, but they struggle to score points. When they get themselves in a hole, it's tough to dig out of it. One shot by a foul. His son likes to shoot with um, the they both, Yeah, too. but not as much as his daddy. My, Mike is uh, a little bit more in the past. This player has had Mike. some head coaching stints, longest of which was in Milwaukee. I was kidding him last time we had him on New Year's Eve. He had sneezed and uh, <laughs> back locked up on him. He didn't coach the game. I said it was good to see him tonight. Phillips takes it in and comes back in by. Once again with uh, Baron Davis, the ball knocked loose. And this is what Denver does best. They get out and run. Wide open three for Carmelo Anthony last night. They don't know how long he's going to be out, but in scoop close tonight. Cayman loses the ball. Turnover number eight for the Clippers. Phillips a three. Team for the game in Denver now, plus 18 points from three. A little right hand hook shot right there over Kenyon Martin. Cayman is seven of 14. Phillips another three. Oh! He gave it to him at halftime, so just so you know, Kevin, I'm not uh, carrying those photos around with me. Well, you tell me I saw it happen. There's just talked about you because those you, you tell fascinating stories of being in Munich during that time and what it was like to play, and of course, the historic game and all the things attached to it. Here's Lawson. He's ringing in. So that's so wrong. I'm going to throw my body in front of a locomotive for you. Here's a missed three by Baron Davis. Get that replay of Boston. Let's see that locomotive. I'll show you again, coach. There's a nice drive inside by Ty Lawson. Every game in the regular season carries some importance with it. It may not seem that way as a foul throws out to Lawson. He'll tee up a three in front of the Clipper bench and three at home. And before you were talking about the division, this Northwest Division, where the Denver Nuggets are. Here's Phillips. And Ty Lawson, here's what we're talking about, two point guards in there. Greg Smith against Anderson. We've seen them isolate a couple times, four minutes tonight, and he has got 18. Nine of 14. The Clippers are going to go to Washington, and Washington has struggled this year. That's one of those games I talked about, Kevin. They've got to dig in and try to win against the sub-500 team. This is Kenyon Martin. This Northwest Division got very close. Denver, Portland, Utah, Oklahoma City, all within a handful of games of each other. Denver's in first place right now. The King of Bulls, a nice rejection by Andrew.